Hello everyone, it's Matt here and welcome to the vlog for December 2017 or the year in review one um, as I'm going to start doing them. Um, so obviously this video is a little late. I uh, I am wearing something extremely festive though. It is a Christmas jumper. It's just a Christmas jumper, just not at Christmas. Um, so the first question you might have is why haven't there been any videos of late? Um, short answer is I've been busy. The long answer is I've been busy with catching up on anime um, that I should be doing. I've spent pretty much an entire day just binge watching uh, the Galaxy Railway Season 2 uh, on YouTube because um, there wasn't a UK release of the DVD. Um, so I've been spamming that on YouTube, watched it all um, so I've finally finished all that, including the Galaxy uh, Galaxy Press 909, I think it was, crossover that they did for four episodes, which that should actually preclude Season 2. I watched it after Season 2, but um, yeah, that's all done. So Galaxy Railway stuff, I've actually pretty much finished um, whatever was released, uh, with the exception of doing the um, Galaxy Press 909 series, which to us I'm not that interested in doing. Um, I've got enough to do, so I'm going to do that as is. Um, I've been busy with the Christmas events for Overwatch, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator, as well as trying to get some of the achievements for that, for those games. Um, so for American Truck Simulator, for example, the only achievement I have left to get in the current state of the game is the one for picking up all the service stops in New Mexico. Whereas with Eurotrack Simulator, there's still a lot to do. Um, I've been able to get a few of the ones for Italy, like the Michelangelo one for delivering marble, um, the Lava Roads one for getting down the series in Etna, um, or driving on the roads next to them. Um, and you know, it's just been a continual case of I'd like to do that, but I'm busy with that, busy with that, busy with that. I'm sleeping that day, I'm going out that day. And that's the other thing as well, is that um, my channel, as I've mentioned previously, has to work around the fact that I work effectively Mondays to Fridays. So that effectively leaves evenings and weekends, which isn't a lot of time, to be honest. Um, so this sort of Christmas time, I've just effectively been, been doing other stuff like going shopping and doing this, that and the other, which I might not ordinarily do if I'm in work. Um, so I've just been sort of getting that sort of thing sorted. Um, I've also been doing stuff at home as well, so it's not just doing that sort of thing as well. I've been also sorting through my room, um, doing a few other bits and pieces, and I'm not guaranteeing it anytime soon, but I am tidying my room in preparation to do a room tour. Because um, obviously, it's no use me showing you certain bits of the room. I mean, you can sort of see behind me, you know, it's a bit of a mess, etc. And I do want to get my room organised because I'm going to have another room rearranged. Except this time it's probably going to be the final one I'm ever going to do. He says for this decade at least. Um, so yeah, it's um, 2017's been a bit of a crazy year for me. Um, brand new computer effectively, with the exception of the power supply and maybe one or two cables. Um, and to be honest, the move to Ryzen has been fantastic. Uh, it's a lot more powerful. It's a lot uh, quicker for certain things. Um, the upgrades to Vega, for example, has been a huge benefit for me. Um, videos are rendering quicker. Um, games are performing better. I'm getting higher frame rates should I want them to. I can upgrade to another new uh, 1440p monitor if I want to from a main display. Um, so it's just, it's not just that's better, that's better. It's a whole quality of life upgrade. Um, and, you know, it's going to suit this as it currently stands. It's going to suit me well for the next three years, possibly, depending on what um, uh, games come out and depends on what their hardware requirements are, etc. Um, but to be honest, I can pretty much slap anything on t on this and it just choose choose it like it's nothing. Um, the only thing I will say is though, the uh, Vega does seem to what uh, spin up quite loudly at first. Um, but it does seem to quieten down, so the American Truck Simulator, for example, it only ever goes above one bar of use, like the temp, like the like basic sort of like ten percent meterings, 
Um, it only is above 10% when it's actually load rent starting to render the actual mission. Beyond that, it just winds down to one. Maybe you rack cranks up every so often um, to do like render new areas, and then it'll drop back down to one again. So, um, to be honest, it's really quiet uh, for general use. It does can get a little noisy, but to be honest, it's a blower card. You know, these things are generally speaking going to be noisier than ones where they've got multiple fans and different design you know you can't just compare a blower car to a regular car you know you've got essentially it's a blower car so it's a different style of ventilation compared to others um, and that sort of thing um, moving away towards Lego you know there's been a huge expansion of what I've got of got Lego wise especially in terms of storage uh, and I'll you know I keep having gone about this but and and everybody else will as well so lego is not just a bit of buying going to a shop and buying a set there's also all stuff about especially as a mocker um, or people who like to modify sets or bit or build their own stuff it's all about the part storage um, getting all the bricklink and cataloging everything and doing that sort of thing it's an extremely hard process um, to do it's extremely tedious as well um, and you've got to do a lot of planning and just simple storage if you buy a set do you keep the box do you you know break it up for pieces you know there's a you know it's a whole load of questions related to the hobby which people looking from the outside might not even think of um, and you know 2018 is looking to be another stellar year for Lego more expensive sets you know I'm I've got to the point now where I've just about managed to clear off the 2016 list. Um, there's obviously some more before then. 2017, I've still got a hell of a lot to do. 2018, um, I think 2018 is actually the next worst one. Um, I've actually got bricks set open at the moment, so I can actually do a comparison. Um, so yeah, at the moment, according to the wish list, uh, there's 12 for 2018, uh, 3 for 2017, and then you got one each for 2014, 13, 10, 9, and 1998. Um, for those interested, the 1998 one is actually a um, set called Classic Train uh, from the 9 volt line. It didn't actually have any track, it was just sort of like a limited release one with a few bits. The re I don't actually want it as a set, I want it as inspiration. So, what I might do is just download a couple of photos or the set of photos or the instructions. Uh, from somewhere and keep them stored away as a probably references like this is something I want to do in the future because I don't want to buy the set I just want to use it as inspiration uh, for other things a lot of the other stuff on the wish list are sets either I've missed out on or didn't want to buy at the time for whatever reason such as the uh, the windmill set or the wind turbine set rather um, there's one of the winter village sets um, things like that so it's just stuff that Ordinarily, I might have missed out on either because it's a seasonal thing or because it's something I wasn't interested in at the time. Um, so the 2014 one, for example, is a logging truck, which will fit in very well with the forest theme coming in 2018. Um, you know, and that sort of thing. It will blend in nicely. Uh, one of the, the, you know, I want the Winter Village Market from 2013 um, because that will actually because I'm now actually collecting some of the Winter Village that will actually fit in quite nicely with the plans I've got for it um, when I move out um, or build the city or whatever and that's something else I, um, you know I'm going to talk about I know I keep saying I'm going to talk about it and then don't do a video but you know when I actually do it I'm actually going to do a series about what my plans are for doing an actual um, layout essentially or city sort of playscape and having various things about how they fit into each other and um, what the plans are for buying sets and modifying them and that sort of thing um, <clears throat> so 20, you know it's the end of the year so I shouldn't necessarily be saying what 2017 was like I should also be saying what 2018 is going to be like um, so I'm going to be doing a lot more events now mostly Lego because um, I'm going to be helping um, the lug uh, with their events so that's Cobbler's Bricks think it is Where's the Bricks and I think there's, there's going to be a third one as well somewhere um, I obviously can't necessarily make them directly by myself I'm actually going as an assistant for somebody else or just as a general show volunteer 
um, they are exhibiting there as well. So I'm actually sort of piggybacking onto other people to do the shows. Um, but this is what the community, especially Lego, is all about. It's the helping each other out. And a lot of these events, they're not for profit events. They're just there as an event to either self-sustain itself or to create money for charity. So what the event does is that the ticket money can uh, in the, no, the ticket money then pays for the exhibitors, the hall or the event venue, any catering required, uh, hotels and that sort of thing. And all that money after the end of it is effectively profit. Now I turn the word profit very loosely because it's just surplus. It's you know the bills have been paid. This is what's left. And what happens is that a good a proportion of that will then be kept behind as stuff for next year. So that will be the deposit on ev the event uh, location, um, some contingency funds for other bits and pieces, and whatever is deemed to be left over, that then gets donated to charity. So it's you know these events are self-sustaining, but every year or after the event there'll be so much that can go on to give be given to charity um, and that sort of thing so you know it's going to be a good year I think for 2018 um, in February um, for a change I'm actually going off to see Mark Apply in Cardiff uh, so there's me and some friends um, we're going down probably via coach because um, coach is actually the cheapest and um, train tickets were like 250 quid uh, for adults, which I think was ridiculously expensive. Um, coaches were about 56, and these are, this isn't just one way, this is both going down on one day and coming back the next one, because obviously the event's going to be late in the evening, um, so we don't want to stay, you know, loiter around stations, getting trains back or whatever, so we're actually just going to, um, you know, come back the following day. You know, it's two days of work for me because obviously the, the days it's on is actually a Monday, uh, the nineteenth. Um, so obviously the nineteenth we're going down, going to then stay in the night and then come back on the twentieth. Um, other things look forward to in twenty eighteen. Um, to be honest with you, I'm pretty much the same as twenty seventeen's goals are: buy some of the new sets, buy hopefully clear out some of my wanted list from the backlog. Um, and you know hopefully finish a few mocks the brick liner i did say the goal of the brick liner was actually to complete a passenger coach by the end of the year and i kind of did um there's only two pieces missing from the observation car that weren't the correct color and those were actually the ones for the underframe um and that's kind of because they're not generally speaking a very common item um the one by four curved bricks with the sort of plate going outside um, so my I'm going to mark it as goal completed um, just because you know those parts aren't always available um, and quite often people have only got one or two in their entire store so I might be able to place an order might be able to get those two I might be able to get a load of other pieces but that still doesn't complete the underframe um, but to be honest with the way I st standardised the designs uh, on the 8 wide version at least um, you know the underframes are all pretty si should be pr uh, pretty similar um, everything parts more or less interchangeable the designs are fairly standard you know it should be a lot easier I'm not having to deal with three wide you know bricks one like one by three bricks a lot anymore um, except for certain areas so you know it should be a lot better it's a lot easier to buy parts and to be honest with the amount of orders I've got and the fact I've now been organising my Lego is that I don't necessarily place orders for fairly common pieces you know I can sort of go oh I've got all of that because I did da, 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 so I don't actually need to buy that sort of brick I know I've got some in that drawer for example um, so speak and speaking of uh, sort of the end of the year, I normally do a sort of like project, you know, sort of like the latest purchase thing. Um, but there are a few purchases I do wish to show off, um, and interestingly, some of that is actually very related to the time of year. Um, so, Lego often do Boxing Day sales. So this is that's where they reduce surplus stock and uh, stuff they want to get rid of by thirty percent. 
Um, maybe more, maybe less. So, I will turn around. And this is what I was able to get uh, from the Boxing Day sales. This is the winter holiday train or winter village train. Um, and this was actually down to about fifty pounds, I think it was. Um, so this is actually my first copy of the set. Um, I'm not. I'm in two minds about getting a second one for the parts. Um, I'm probably not going to, to be honest. I'm probably just going to buy the parts I want off Brickling, because um, people are probably going to be buying this in bulk um, and buying enough uh, bits to actually create their own anyway. Um, so I should be able to get the parts I want off Brickling. Because um, I'm actually going to convert the loco into a 440, um, and that's actually on mock pages. Um, well, my design for that's actually on mock pages, so um, you know, I'll actually put a link to that uh, file in so you can actually see for it, uh, see it for yourself. Um, so, yeah, um, I've actually got the um, Winter Village Station, which is 2017's Winter Village set um, on my wish list, so you know. Hopefully, um, I'll actually have this sort of Winter Village sort of stuff ready for next year. So, it'll be an interesting time. Um, but this again was a Boxing Day sale. So, uh, did a special thing where if you bought, um, you know, bought, ordered stuff on Boxing Day, you also got a special gift box. So this is it, and essentially you just take it to a Lego store and you can fill it with pieces so you know it's a very nice box and hopefully I should be able to complete it um, you know next year uh, when we have the lug meet in um, Milton Keynes I don't say, say where it is. so yeah um, Yeah, so yeah, you know, um, so there was that. But interestingly, I also used um, the code in the Lego catalog to get £10 off for six pounds. Now, obviously, you're probably going to work out that, on a minute, that set was only 50 something pounds. So, how did you get £10 off 60? Well, the answer is bricks and pieces. And I'm really shocked about this, it's actually already arrived. Um, so there's a wide variety of pieces in here. Um, there's some two by four tiles in black, uh, two by eight plates in reddish brown, some train wheels, uh, some bits of uh, foliage, uh, some two by two tiles in brown. Um, essentially, it's a load of parts um, for mocks and a few other pieces, and some one by ten plates in black. Um, essentially, it's a jumble of pieces. It's stuff I probably could have ordered off Bricklink cheaper but to be honest it's free lego effectively at this point um i've had to buy about a pound something so nine pounds of this is just free lego admittedly though that nine pound probably was have gotten further on bricklink but this is brand new factory fresh lego lego from lego themselves so um you know this is something where you know i'm actually going to actually make be able to do some stuff and actually get stuff um, further along and it's actually stuff that um, actually kind of ties into doing the brick line as well because there's some uh, like 4x4 four four plates here in black um, 1x10 uh, plates in black the 2x4 tiles there's some 2x8 plates in black as well so I don't have many of those so it's in a way it's actually helped me to complete the brick line as well so or at least do the car um, my observation car which is something I wanted to do anyway so um, so yeah um, really surprised about how the speed of that order and I've also acquired and they've actually been on here the whole time and I've kind of been ignoring them for a, not a specific reason um, two city sets these are both from 2010 uh, both are on Spock again um, but these are sets 3180 uh, which is this one here which is the Octane tank truck um, and it's also got a little petrol station uh, sort of pump next to it as well um, the stickers on this are applied fairly well um, 
but this is actually going to be converted into a train car. Um, so the cab unit and a few other bits and pieces are probably going to be surplus to requirements. So I might just um, keep the sort of design and tweak it slightly and have it as a truck for me own city. Um, and the other one, which is uh, the Lego truck. So this is actually a was about a thirty pounds RRP set um, originally. Um, and I did actually miss out on it. I kind of wanted it at the time, but I was just thinking that it's American and I don't really like that design. And obviously now I'm playing American Truck Simulator, I actually quite like that sort of uh, aesthetic with the cab at the back and everything else. Um, so yes, I've acquired one. Uh, so this is set 3221. Both sets are from 2010, uh, from what I can remember from my search on Brickling. Um, so they're pretty much complete. The Lego trucks complete with the exception of some of the um, sets, the printed 2x2 two two tiles with the sets on them, uh, some of those are wrong, but aside from that, you know, I'm not going to complain, I'm not in it for, you know, completeness, and to be honest, the truck itself was complete with the exception of a 1x8 uh, yellow tile for the underframe, so sort of by the side, so if I take the back off, the trailer off rather, um, the only thing missing from the entire truck was this uh, one by eight yellow tile? Um, so, you know, to be honest, if that's the only thing that was missing, um, yeah, yeah. So essentially, if that's the only thing that was missing, I'm not, you know, that bothered. Um, you know, I'm not bothered about the set decals. And to be honest, that was twelve pounds. It's a you know, considering some of the people out there trying to sell their for like seventy five plus pounds, it's just like that's a bargain. Um so yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover uh, in the vlog. Um I'm probably going to be on a bit of a quiet spot in terms of video production because I'm trying to do other things, um, such as Lego sort of sorting through more Lego and getting that organised and sorting my room out ready for the room tour and doing a few other bits and pieces um, but yeah you know you know happy Christmas it's a bit late but you know happy Christmas happy new year you know season greetings um, and you know see more see more stuff in 2018 so bye bye